Okay guys, welcome to another, is this possibly one of the worst computer games ever? Uh, this is Snooker and it was released in 1984 by a company called Visions Software Factory. Um, I don't recall any other games that they actually made. Um, now I did buy this because uh, being of a certain age back in whenever it was 1984 I would be 17, I was right into pool and you know snooker, the real snooker game. Um, and so it was a dream come true when I saw this on the shelves of a Ray's computer shop. So I, I handed over my hard end cash and uh, dashed back to my house, loaded it up and was bitterly disappointed. Um, anyway, let's try and play it. So number of players, 0, 1, 2, 3. Now why would you want 0 players? Does it give some kind of demo mode possibly? Maybe it does, I don't know. Like, let's go for 1 player. Now, if I remember really, I don't think you actually have an opponent, a computer opponent per se, so you're basically just uh, <coughs> playing with yourself. Right, do you want a 15 ball game? Yep, let's go for the full, the full booner. Okay, place white ball in the circle. Now, only having the ability to play <laughs> as one player, which is essentially practice, is a bit boring. Right, you place the white ball, now you can see there you control the cross here. Now, first off, you'll see all the reds. They should technically be touching one another, but they're not. I don't know why that is. So, to to get the power, you just hold down, you position the cursor where you want the white ball to go, and then you hold down the power, and you're treated to a lovely noise. Now, I think if you let, keep it held in. Hey, here we go. I've just pointed a ball. Right, so I'm now in a colour, so let's see what is on on the black and pink out of commission. Let's go for the blue. Right, position cross. So what I want to try and do is cut it into the, the centre pocket, so that looks just about right. Let's give it plenty of early. Now, was that my eyes, or did that absolutely miss? Let's take a wee look at that in slow motion. <laughs> Aye, right, okay, foul point. So, Ari, it looks like... It looks like I am, if you notice at the bottom, my opponent gets foul points, but he doesn't actually get to play as such, which is a bit odd. Um, right, let's try and put this one. So what I want to do is I want to hit it probably about, about there. Right, okay, absolutely nowhere near. Right, let's try and split up the pack to open them up and give us a few options. So we shall go right here and give it welly. And you'll see there that, that the physics are absolutely awful. Um, everything seems to stop and you, it, it almost seems it's only got the ability to actually move one ball at any one time. And you seem to get noises, which I'm presuming are the noises of the balls bouncing, even though there's actually no contact. Right, let's try, in fact, let's see if we can put some spin. How do you put spin in the ball? Do you press a button? Do you press ace? Oops, a daisy. I've just, uh, that's taking a shot. Ah, right, okay, so when you're moving, as you're holding the fire button in, you can actually move. I was putting lots of top on the ball there, so quite why the white went backwards, I have no idea. Um, let's try again. Alright, even just trying to pot one ball, let's try and cut. 
let's try and cut this one and there, right, ok now what I'll do I'm going to put right hand side the ball which technically should push the red ball across <laughs> and I completely missed the white, not the white, I completely missed the object ball once again Go for a nice easy one. Now, I can't possibly miss this, surely. That looks good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to screw back. So plenty of bottom in the ball. Yeah. It literally seems nigh on impossible to actually line a shot up and put a ball. Um, I'm going to hit that. Is that a brown? No, that's a red, I think. Let's just. I don't know why I've done that. Uh, let's just try and come off the cushion. We'll put a wee bit of side in it as well. <laughs> I, I don't recall being anywhere near that. Hey, you can see there the blue, they must have some kind of vacuum in the pockets because it just sucks balls into the pocket even though it's nowhere near. Right, you can see the blue is still in the pocket even though the blue has been put back in the spot so we must have two blues. Right, let's, that looks good. Yep, this game is almost impossible to actually deliberately put a ball. Oh, 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 get in, get in. Right, this, no oh, bollocks, it's just moved a wee bit too far back. Right, let's try and... Uh, right, that should be good. Put a wee bit right hand side in it as well. Absolutely nowhere near. Oh, oh, oh! Ah, almost. Right, this time, I can't fail to miss this one. So let's hit it about here. And we'll screw back for a colour. How is that possible? Let's take another look at that in slow motion. How did that miss? That is... Yeah. How could I possibly have missed? Right, let's go again. Right, can't possibly miss that. Hey, I pointed it. <laughs> oh man, right. Anyway, listen, that's enough of that. That is. Is it one of the worst games ever? Possibly not. Is it the worst snooker game ever? Absolutely. It is wholly unplayable. Um, they obviously didn't take any time to actually suss out the, the physics or if indeed it even worked because it's just an unholy mess. So, anyway, listen, guys, that is it. Thank you very much for watching.